All right, welcome. This is a video about uh, projectile motion. If we launch a uh, projectile right here, here's that projectile, with some velocity v naught at some angle theta, uh, we know that it's going to form some type of uh, uh, parabolic path. Uh, that's not the best parabola there, but you get the idea. Now, this uh, velocity is launched with that angle right there. We can see that it's launched in two directions. It's launched in both the x direction and also the y direction. So this is, um, this is called two-dimensional motion. Uh, this projectile travels in both, x, both the x and y directions. In order to figure out the uh, each direction, we're going to go ahead and drop an altitude for the tip of that arrow. And we can see right here that uh, this vector has a component in the x direction and it also has a component in the y direction. We're going to call this right here, we'll call this v naught. And uh, if you think about v naught as being a hypotenuse, and you do a little trigonometry, this is the adjacent side, then uh, the uh, velocity, initial velocity in the x direction, will be that v naught times the cosine of theta. And uh, this part right here, this vertical component will be that initial velocity times the sine of theta. So initially this projectile is launched and it's uh, launched two directions both horizontally and also also vertically. Well this horizontal part uh, we're familiar with. We know that in the x direction that uh, things travel with a constant velocity and that any point along the path right here that the velocity in the x direction will be that same exact thing, v naught times the cosine of theta. Uh, right here, that horizontal velocity will be v naught times the cosine of theta. Right here, right before it hits the ground, the horizontal velocity will be v naught times the cosine of theta. That horizontal velocity never ever changes. In fact, some people make the mistake and say the velocity uh, of this projectile at the very top is, is zero, and that's not the case. At the very, very tippity top path right there, that velocity is still v naught times the cosine of theta. That horizontal velocity never, ever changes. So we, if we look at our models in the x direction and also in the y direction, we know that in the x direction, that things travel at a constant velocity and that how far it travels will be the initial velocity in the x direction times the times the time. So in this case right here we can see that uh, the displacement in the x direction will be that v naught times the cosine of theta times the time. That's a good model for our x direction. So if we want to see how far this thing goes, all we need to know is, is the time. So it looks like we need to go to the y direction to figure out, figure out the time. In the y direction, we know that the initial velocity in the y direction is going to be uh, v naught times the sine of, sine of theta. And um, an easy way to solve a problem like this that is symmetrical is we can cut this problem in half. And we can basically say that right here, that uh, the final velocity at this point, and we call that the final velocity in the y direction, will be zero. That initially, when it's launched, the velocity in the y direction is v naught sine of theta. And that we know that uh, in the vertical direction, that velocity is subject to the acceleration of gravity. And acceleration of gravity is going to change that vertical velocity. And at the very top up here, that vertical velocity will be, will be zero. So we'll say the final velocity in the y direction will be, will be zero. Well, this uh, is only half the trip, but um, that will uh, allow us to figure some things out. In the vertical direction, in the y direction, we are familiar with the fact that the acceleration is basically is basically acceleration of gravity, or negative 10 meters per second per second. And we also developed some models in class, uh, V equals V naught plus uh, DT, 
we also uh, developed the model uh, x is equal to v naught t plus one half d t squared. And uh, we also developed the model that uh, that uh, v squared is equal to v naught squared plus two a a uh, x. Of course, uh, we're talking about the y direction right now, so I probably, to be consistent, should change these x's to uh, actually y's. We're talking about motion up and down now, so I'll go ahead and change that real quick here. Delta y. So here's the idea, is we want to figure out how far this projectile goes. We know that the, the motion in the x direction is, is constant, constant velocity. And if somehow we can figure out the time, then we can figure out how far this thing goes. Um, if we go back to the y direction, we know the initial velocity is, is this in the y direction. The final velocity is zero, and the acceleration of gravity is, is g, or in other words, negative 10. And these three models we know. So if, if we could, on this side, if we can figure out the time, and take that time and plug it in over here, we can figure out how far that thing travels horizontally. And um, looking at only in the y direction, I see a nice way to do that would be this, this first model right here. For the first model, v equals v naught plus dt. We know that the final velocity in the y direction is zero. The initial velocity in the y direction is v naught times the sine of theta plus dt. And if we go ahead and solve for, solve for time right there, we can see that the time is going to be negative v naught times the sine of theta over uh, g. And we need to keep in mind here that this uh, time is only half of the trip. So to get the time for the entire trip, um, the time, we'll go ahead and multiply this by 2. So minus 2 v naught sine of theta over, over g right here. Um, there we go. There's our time that this projectile is, uh, travels for this, this path that we're talking about. So if we take this time, the time it takes for this projectile to travel that entire path, and plug it in here for time, we will then get the horizontal displacement. So let's go ahead and, let's go ahead and do that. So delta, delta x, delta x is equal to v naught times the cosine of theta times a t, which is a minus 2 v naught times the sine of theta over, over g. So there we go. Our final model for the displacement in the x direction is this very nice looking formula. We got minus 2 times uh, v naught squared times the sine of theta times cosine of theta all over g. And there's a model right there that basically tells us the displacement, the horizontal displacement for this, for this projectile. We can see that, um, that the horizontal displacement is directly proportional to that uh, v naught squared. And we can see that uh, we're multiplying by sine and, and cosine. Um, some very interesting things happen there with sine and cosine that we'll, we'll talk about a little bit later. All right, so we, we figured out how far this thing goes. Um, we can probably also figure out how high it goes as well. And um, let's think about this for a second. If we want to figure out how high, so right here, how high, we'll call that delta y. And uh, I'll go back over here to the left-hand side. And we want to figure out how high it goes. So let's, let's uh, go ahead and uh, once again, we'll, we'll look at the y direction right here. And uh, initial velocity in the y direction is at uh, v naught times the sine of theta. And the final velocity in the y direction is zero. Uh, it's looking just like what we did before. I'm not sure why I'm doing it again. 
But uh, what we're looking for this time is we're looking for the, the height, the change in um, position, the displacement in the y direction. And if we look at our models, our constant acceleration models right here, we can see that, uh, you know, this, is, this one right here, that uh, this is going to be zero, which is a good thing. We've got everything there we, that we need that we can easily solve for delta, delta y. Let's go and, let's go and give that a try. So we got uh, v squared equals v naught squared plus 2a times delta y. And like I said, the final velocity in the y direction is 0. Initial velocity in the y direction is going to be v naught times the sine of theta, that squared, plus 2g delta y. And that's all equal to zero. So very easily, we can then get a model for this, this whole thing. So uh, delta y, if we solve this thing right here, we then get uh, negative v naught squared sine squared theta all over 2, 2g. So there we go. Um, we get a, a uh, formula that we can, that we're not going to use on tests um, because you're going to have to derive this yourself. Um, but uh, it shows you how easy it is to get uh, the, the uh, displacement in the x direction and also the displacement in the, in the y direction. And we will uh, give you some uh, application problems relating to, to these concepts. All right. Thank you.